violence, kidnapping, and child marriage of a girl child are practical realities facing us as a country at the moment. Over 28% of married women are between the age of 15 and 19, compared to 1.1 of men in the same age group. Almost half of them were married by the age of 15. Age nine is a normal age for children to get married in some parts of the country. You can't separate the issue of marrying off a girl child with the powers given to the father to marry off his daughter without her consent. It's a legal issue that has to be challenged. Girls in Nigeria have been at a disadvantage around enrollment, retention, completion and transition in schools right from the cred really going forward and this has impacted on the ability of the girl child to contribute to society. The girl child is captured when you talk about children, but the adolescent girl child, that's children about the age of 11 to about 18 years, are missing from developmental discussion. And one of the reasons for this is that even in our cultural practices, the girl child of that age is usually an invisible factor within families, within societies, and so on. More than 60% of the poor in Africa are women. So you then ask the question, why is that data like that? And then that leads you to certain kinds of um, interesting information. It will tell you that they are, more women are poor because more girls lack opportunity to prepare to take advantage of economic ventures, economic to be involved in the process of of economic growth. The momentum is gaining world over on girls, you know, giving girls a chance. And I think for her, us here in Nigeria, it's something that we've not really made any big issue about and I think this is now the right time. Those of us involved in this thing we're also getting increasingly lazy about this work. Uh, sometimes we think that by getting to the state and, and getting the law passed at the state level we could just clap for ourselves and say thank God we've actually getting these things through. We have to bring back good governance. We have to bring up the institutions to guarantee the girl child to have education. So at this conference um, these past two days is basically to bring all those stakeholders together to get those various perspectives, both from the religious perspective and the family, the media, um, the traditional institution and the government itself, and civil society actors. We've had um, the Emir of Kano saying that he's going to bring in Muslim scholars to look at this issue. We will post this conference, now be engaging with that process. We want to take away the right of the father to marry off his daughter without her consent because that right does not exist in Islamic law. It was given by some jurists. <laughs> we want to criminalize the beating of your wife. I commit to support Action Aid and other civil society organizations to advocate for the passage of the Child's Rights Act in the remaining Nigerian states and also for a better implementation in those states that have passed it. I pledge to speak up and support Action Aid and other civil society organizations to advocate for the right of the child, of the girl child in Nigeria, and having a place and a safer school environment. We need all the people who are involved in Nigerian society in one way or the other. It's not time to start um, looking at who is doing what or who is not doing what. It's a time for all hands to be on deck. We need the government, we need CSOs, we need private sector, we need families, we need societies, we need professionals, and we need you. Please join us in the fight to make sure the girl child has a dignified life.